Folks in Georgia know another week celebrating local farmers markets has come and gone. Now I had a chance to catch up with some folks that make shopping the markets a routine. Whether you've noticed it or not, across the country, farmers markets have opened at a fast clip in the last two decades, expanding the number by 700 percent since the mid-1990s, that according to the United States Department of Agriculture. Um, over the years, it's morphed a little bit from strictly farmers to you. You have a lot of dealers now um, because a true farmer doesn't have time to get up in the morning, to pick, to wash, to bring to market, to sit all day in sale they're losing valuable time that they need to be out in the field. Farmers Market Week, for instance, celebrated in Georgia, June 21st through the 28th, created by the USDA to promote farmers markets. The USDA registered 7,500 farmers markets just a couple of years ago. All the time, and everyone is waiting for Georgia tomatoes. I mean, that is, besides green plum, that's my second most common question. Everybody wants Georgia tomatoes. For Macon Farmers Market Manager, Happy Wyatt, the week is about more awareness for the general public. Welcome. Come and sell with us. Don't think that your outlets are only your backyard. You know, come up and sit down and sell with us. Talk to the dealers if you don't have time to do it. We love having you visit with us, and we love that connection. Wyatt said most of the year, March until December, it's a steady stream of dealers. If you're a farmer, a true farmer, if you grow what you sell, and it can be picking up pecans in your yard in the fall, and you can come here, we don't charge farmers. This market was designed to be an outlet for a true farmer. One thing she noted is more Georgia-grown products are popping up at other markets across the communities. We have some of our steady farms, Greenway Farms of Georgia, the Little Farm, um, some of our meat vendors, Evergreen and Barker Farms, that have been pretty constant vendors with us. But we also have um, had interest from those farmers talking about it at Mulberry Street Market, um, at the Milledgeville Market, and um, they just reach out to us and say, we want to join your market. And I say, of course, we need as many farms and um, you know, local produce vendors that we can get. Well, if they're, want if they're wanting to go organic, you can't beat this. I think it's, it's local support, and if you're talking about environment, locally grown, local, you know, uh, fresh fruit and vegetables. This, this area of town has, has, a, has a clientele that, uh, uh, you know, really, really uh, uh, values what we produce, so it, it, uh, um, it works out well for us. Several consumers told us it's just something about being at the farmer's market selecting their produce. And you can always come out here and get, you know, fresh vegetables. And not only that, you can come out here and they've been done shelled them for you, cut them up for you. And, and you know, if you're like me, that's, that's my key of coming out here, you know. But prices is always good. People's always friendly. Well, we come and got some squash, some snap beans, and tomatoes because we all just love fresh vegetables. I told my grandkids I'd cook them some fresh vegetables tonight. One vendor at the Macon's Farmer's Market said it's just fun being out talking to the public. Well, it's, it, it's, a, it's a real experience because you have to get up early in the morning to go and pick up your produce and then you got to make sure your produce is fresh and then you got to hope that the sun don't, 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 don't mess it up and then you have to throw stuff away. But besides that, it's a good experience, a wonderful experience to put out fresh produce. We thank God for what he blessed us with. It's a blessing, whatever, what God blessed us with, we just thankful.